Good morning, Michigan. Happy Friday. Chief Morales Joel Fritzma here with another look at your daily forecast, this time for Friday, September 26th, 2025. Quick shout out to Lowell, by the way. They're hosting their 18th Pink Arrow game this year. They're facing off against Cedar Springs tonight, and that is why I'm repping my pink shirt. Other than that, let's go ahead and dive into our daily headlines here across the state of Michigan, starting off with hot, cold, hot. Over the next seven days, we're going to be kind of going through a roller coaster, and that actually goes in the next 10 days, too. This weekend, getting hot. We kind of tail off by midweek here. Tuesday into Wednesday gets back down to the low 70s. And as we move into next weekend, next week, temperatures back up near the upper 70s. Drought categories do remain out there. We had a little bit of change, a little bit of improvement for some locations, but most places have stayed the same and decreased. And you'll see that in our map here in just a second. Unfortunately, that's going to be staying the same throughout the next seven days as well. And on top of that, we also have no rain in sight. All the days upcoming, all seven days upcoming, have a 10% chance or less of precipitation in each of those days. So keep that in mind. No matter where you're going in the state, rain is going to be at a premium this upcoming week. So if you have plants that need watering, make sure you're doing that almost every single day as it'll also be hot out there and rain and all that evapotranspiration is going to be going on. Here's your drought map, of course. Only thing that has improved, I will say this, is your severe drought in Kent County has been dialed back to a moderate drought, but down here in the tan for pretty much the entirety of the thumb. Uh, besides here in County, Northern Tuscola County, all of this tan you see here in Southern Tuscola County and South down towards, uh, I believe that is going to be Jackson right there. You also have Shiawassee County. All that area in tan has been uh, unfortunately added to the moderate drought category from abnormally dry. So unfortunately, just getting worse out there. And with a week of no rain upcoming, these drought categories will likely just keep continue to keep getting worse. As we look at our temperatures across the state today and our daily conditions, temperatures in the low 60s all across the UP. In the lower peninsula, as you get south of pretty much Traverse City and Cadillac here, temperatures in the 70s, high 70s possible, south of 96. And as we move over here into the thumb, we have a nice little bit of red meaning temperatures in the 80s. So 80 degrees for Flint, 80 degrees for Pontiac. And even up here towards Mount Pleasant and places down south and east. So Elma and even Saginaw could be touching 80 today as well. Conditions across the state also mostly sunny. Snowfall forecast, same as yesterday. Nothing going on out there for snow. In terms of rain, there's a little bit of lingering rain out there this morning. But that won't make too much of a difference. As you can see, values here pretty much around a hundredth of an inch. Maybe up to about a tenth of an inch. But other than that, not a whole lot to write home about. Most of these places that you see here on the map will likely not even get rain at all, but this is just in case you do get rain. Severe weather forecast for today. Nothing out there. Any precipitation will just be in the form of showers. Sunrise and sunset. Not much has changed here. Sunset now at 7.50 or earlier. And we're getting to be about that time of the year where our we spend more time actually in uh, not daylight versus daylight, I guess you could say. So a lot more darker days are coming. We're starting to turn that corner into majority of it being nighttime instead of daytime. Speaking of nighttime, moonrise, moonset. It's 11.19 in the morning right now and 8.50 at night for your moonset. So it's still pretty dark at night. And we again, we're in a very, very tiny crescent moon right now. So there's not a whole light out there from the moon. Forecasted radar for the next couple hours. Here's 7 a.m. this morning. We move through to noon. We move through the e afternoon and evening. And as we get into that 3 to 4 o'clock time frame, that deck of clouds is moving through this uh, morning for northern Michigan. Really just going to kind of disperse, fall apart. As we move into tomorrow, excuse me, you have another band of clouds moving in. And this is going to be about, oh, let's see, there is midnight. There's about 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 a.m. in the morning. So any time after 2 a.m. is going to be the time to look for four clouds in the Upper Peninsula. Otherwise, again, mostly sunny skies is the main condition expected. And taking a look finally at our forecast, our seven-day forecast across the state of Michigan into the three different zones here. You got the UP up top, northern Michigan here on the bottom, or in the middle, and then on the bottom you have lower peninsula. So up here in the upper peninsula you can see temperatures going up this weekend, 73, 74 here. 76, Monday is going to be your hot days. You can see all, pretty much a Sunday into Monday time frame for both or all three of the zones here is going to be your hottest days. So you got 74, 77, and 81 to so go north to south of the state on Sunday. Monday, 76, 77, and 79. And as you move into Tuesday and Wednesday, you can see that roller coaster starts to dip right back down. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s for northern and the UP of Michigan, and just barely eclipsing 70 for southern lower peninsula before we start rocketing back up into next weekend there. Temperatures getting back up into the mid 70s, potentially by Friday.
And you'll notice here, again, as I mentioned, 10% chance of rain every single day this week. Look at all of these mostly sunny icons, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, perhaps partly cloudy skies might get maybe a little bit of a drizzle in some locations, but right now that's not looking favorable for any places. Um, again, there's not actually mostly sunny on Sunday. That is all sunny skies. This will be your sunniest day of the weekend, so enjoy that. Mostly sunny skies Wednesday and Thursday next week. So I will implore you guys to go out and enjoy this before we get our six months of permacloud. And for those who are wanting snow right now, I hate to say this word, the S word, of course, but if you want snow, if you want more of an aggressive start to winter, then this warmth is actually helping right now because it's keeping those lakes warm and in turn will fuel the lake effect snow belts for early, or late fall into early winter. So keep that in mind. Warmth right now may be good for your snow early winter. That being said, that is all for today's daily forecast video. The sponsor of the day here is StormGuard Roofing and Construction. Number on the screen right there, 248-985-3239. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'm Chief Morales Joel Fritzma signing off. Hope to see you at the start of next week for another daily forecast video. Have a good one, everyone.